In this class, you'll study about capturing data from a drawing, such as point coordinates, element area, listed items in a drawing, and editing time log records, since the creation of the drawing up to the latest editing. The area, list, ID point, and time tools are used to perform these operations. These tools are on the Inquiry panel, Tools tab. Let's begin by speaking about the Area tool. This tool, as its name suggests, captures the area of objects in your drawing. After enabling the command, it requests you select the borders of the drawing to capture the area. The following are some more options for using this command. Object enables the selection of a polyline object. Add enables the addition of another part of the drawing and includes it in the captured area. Subtract subtracts a part from the object inside the captured area, and then this shows the useful actual part area. Now let's capture the total area of this object. Enable the command and select the Add option. Then, select the Object option and select Rectangle. Now select Subtract and then select Object. Select the circumference. You can see the total area of the part in the command line. Now, when there is a complex border on a part, made up of several lines and arcs, you first have to sketch a new object using the polyline command. To do this, first select the boundary command and select the closed area option. Press Enter to confirm the selection and a polyline will be created automatically. So now it's much easier to capture the final part area. Another way to capture part area is using Hatch Properties. Right-click the mouse on the hatched area and select Properties to access the properties of the area. In the Geometry group, you will see the Area field that shows the hatched area value. The ID point command captures a point coordinate in the drawing. It is quite simple to use, just enable the command and select the desired point. The coordinates will be displayed in the command line. The list tool displays several kinds of data on the geometry, such as dimensions and layers. When you enable the command, you must select the drawing to list the entities, then press Enter to confirm the selection. Automatically, a screen opens to display the listed elements which are part of the drawing. Now, when you select the time command, a dialog box opens and shows information on the editing time, creation date and last editing performed on the current drawing. So in this class you have studied how to capture such data from drawings as point coordinates, object areas, entity lists from drawings, and editing time in drawings, and the like.